Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Heart. And today I am getting ready to plant two peach trees. And these two peach trees, they uh, came from Tractor Supply. And these are called Red Havens. I have two Red Haven peach and it's really kind of cool out here today. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the ground because it's supposed to be raining. It's supposed to be raining all week long. Hope y'all can see me. supposed to be raining all week long but one of the things that I took note of um, of these peach trees before I get them planted in the ground is that they have been pruned really really good I don't know if you can really see it but they have been pruned really 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 well all the way down here so I'm hoping that these Red Haven peach from tractor supply will work out just fine so y'all stick around while I get these planted All right, so I got both of my peach trees here. And as you can see, this is my big garden and that's behind the chicken house. And this is just on the other side of the fence line right here. So what I'm getting ready to do is plant one in this hole right here. It's about 10 feet away from the fence line. But when we started digging down here, I don't know if he's gone now, but y'all, there are worms down in here already. So we're gonna be really, really careful digging down in here um, because what I'm going to do is put some compost down in the very, very bottom, some chicken manure down in the very, very bottom, and then, um, uh, put a little dirt back in there and then put my tree down in there. So while this hole is being dug, I'm going to show y'all how these trees come in these bags. Okay, so now that my hole is dug... I'm gonna go ahead now and just in the very bottom of this hole, I have some com some chicken manure that's been composting for a little while. It's not quite finished yet, but that's okay. The roots of this plant is gonna, by the time they actually reach down to grab this compost, it will have composted by then. So I'm just gonna grab a nice big handful or two, or maybe three put that down in the bottom and then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of this native dirt right over the top and now I'm going to open my peach tree here and like I said these came from tractor supply so these trees literally these trees are actually bare root, y'all. Look at there. They came surrounded with this mulch, but these are all bare root trees. And like I said, it's getting ready to rain, so it's going to be good. So I'm going to just go ahead now and put this down. And I'm not packing it down, I'm just lightly tamping the soil, because like I said, it's about to rain. So I'm just lightly packing the soil down around here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some wood chips. And I'm going to cover around the base of this, careful not to let it touch my, um, the stalk of my tree, actually. Got to make sure that's standing upright. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and um, grab some wood chips. I'll be right back. Okay. So I have my wood chips. I have my wood chips here in this barrel. And I'm just going to get a few wood chips and just spread around the base of this tree. I'm just getting the wood chips put around the base of the tree and this is actually going to help to hold moisture in and actually I'm also making like a a little bowl here so that when it rains when it rains the water can also collect here around the base of my tree and water the tree soak it in really really good so now i'm going to put a few just around the inside here and then what i'm going to do next lastly i'm going to take a little bit of this compost here i'm going to put it around the top on top of the wood chips Just go around in a circle. You can come closer with the camera so they can see what I'm doing. So you see that? Come down here so they can see. So I'm just putting this around the base of the tree. This is chicken manure that hasn't quite composted yet, okay? And then I'm going to take some more wood chips and I'm going to cover that up just like so. So as this breaks down with the rain, this is going to help to feed my peach tree. Okay? Just covering it up. Now I got everything away from the base of this tree, like so. Just moving it back. All right, y'all see that? And that is how I'm planting my Red Haven peach tree. Now, just to let you know, I was watching Lead Farmer 73, his video on how he plants his peach trees, okay? And I learned a lot from watching that video on planting peach trees. So I just wanted to kind of take what I got from Lead Farmer and then implement it here then, of course, I'll put my own little spin on it, too, right? <laughs> so, these are my Red Haven peaches. I'm going to get the other one in the ground. I'm not going to film it. It's getting cold, rainy <laughs> out here. So, I want to go ahead and get it in the ground. But you see how I got this peach planted in the ground. I'm not going to worry about watering because, like I said, as you can see, it's really cloudy. And the rain is coming in. It's going to be raining for the next several days. And so, this is my main garden area over here to my right. And this is the fence line. I have this about 10 feet away from the fence line. And I'm going to plant my other peach tree 20 feet away from this peach tree. Okay? And it's going to be in that direction. So I have two on this side. And then once we get this cleared directly across from me, we're going to plant a few more peach trees right on this side. Okay? So that's going to do it. Just wanted to show y'all how we plant the peach trees here at homestead heart thank you all for watching we appreciate all of our subscribers new and existing and please if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe to our channel so i'm cole thank you all for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to you all we'll see you in the next video